we had to go all the way to Loretto to find our first fish tacos. It took us a whole week in Mexico between no place to park, can't find the place that has the tacos, the taco place is closed. <laughs> we now have fish tacos. I've been waiting a long time for this. It's a little 360 of the plaza in Loreto. Loreto? Loreto. Loreto. Loreto? Loreto. I guess it's still close enough to Christmas and Happy New Year. Really cool hotel here. Check out the view of our campsite tonight. Hey, good morning everybody. We're south of Loreto. Spent the night at uh, Monsalita Beach and we're headed south to La Paz. Uh, we spent a little bit of time in Loreto. Uh, it's kind of interesting to go into the grocery store and uh, come out and somebody's washing your pickup for you. And uh, so that was a new experience uh, that cost us a couple hundred pesos. Um, Yep, he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't come down his price. We had to go around and get some change. It was quite the ordeal, but uh, we did have a fairly dirty truck, and now we have a clean one. So um, we're going to be heading south again to La Paz. Hopefully, find a beach uh, outside La Paz to camp on, and then we're going to make the loop tomorrow uh, and start headed back north. Maybe um, let's see. Today's Saturday. We'll be headed north by Monday. That'll give us one week to get back. Dollar twenty-five for a top fish taco. Oh my gosh, they are so good. So if you're in La Paz, look for the sign. El Estudio Tacos de Pescado y Camarones. But anyway, we headed out of La Paz, found a beach. One was pretty crowded with huge RVs. Uh, we decided to move on and then we got to La Ventana. What do you think? Yeah, no, um, no, because everybody is parked right next to each other. There would be absolutely no way to even breathe without the next person hearing your breathing. <laughs> yeah, so we had a couple of uh, prospects on our map marked as campgrounds, but uh, it's uh, very variable what people would call a campground so um yeah so we are headed out basically towards the bahia los muertos or i guess that translates to the bay of the dead great <laughs> um, great news but then uh <laughs> headed south from there towards punta pescadero um hopefully there's some fish in store for us at punta pescadero so uh We'll, we'll see if this road uh, takes us through or not. Some of these roads you get on and you're not sure if it's a through road or not, but uh, according to the map we are tracking, so we'll see where we end up. Wish us luck. <laughs> Thank you. 
street this morning. I get out here and do a little bit of casting before we roll up camp, but I uh, want to show you guys the sunrise today. And a sunrise over the Sea of Cortez. We got here last night. Yet again, running out of daylight. Uh -huh. But got into this pretty cool little cove here. Did a little casting. No luck. Oop, the osprey's up this morning fishing. Uh, did notice a couple of rays, manta rays or some sort of ray actually jumping out of the water, which they didn't know they did. Oh, the osprey just drove in for a fish over there and uh, and then we quickly ran out of light saw a bunch of fishing boats out there after dark last night uh, but anyway stellar sunrise over the Sea of Cortez looks to be a great day
even know what day it is and I don't know what day the trip is we're just having an awesome time here in Baja I do I just had to look to put <laughs> <laughs> to put a date down on a picture we're nine days into Mexico uh, this is a day where we hit the southernmost point uh, we'll see what that looks like but southernmost point for us anyway uh, on the peninsula and start heading north We'll see where we end up. We don't have much of a plan. Uh, we just got done with a little bit of snorkeling, took the GoPro out. Hopefully a couple videos turn out with that. And so we're halfway through our day already at this point, fishing, snorkeling, and packing up camp. And we got a bumpy road out. So hopefully we make it more than a few miles before we find another camp. And uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs> 